what's going on and you have to um, the uh, the longest running organization in the universe I believe would be here called the Independent uh, it had another name and Robin can you shout that out the print and now it could be the online print plus ether world World Wide Web. Uh, but Chuck's here to tell us the beginnings of those. Uh, what year, Chuck? 1962. All right, tell us about the independent thing. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Chuck. I am the uh, arts and entertainment editor at the NEIU's, NEIU's The Independent, uh, formerly Arts and Life. Uh, we have split off the life. I don't have life anymore. That went to uh, Grace, who is our campus life editor. Ooh, ooh. Uh, that's a shout out. Um, okay, so we have a newspaper on campus. Um, that might seem like obvious, but I didn't know. I was in a class, I don't even remember, like, chill, like teaching drama for children, it was called, or something like that, and I was there, and my, te uh, my teacher in hand was just like, as an afterthought, she was just like, oh, I have this flyer, it's for the newspaper, you can go be a writer. And I was like, oh, we have a newspaper? And I had no idea. Uh, I took it, and I went, and then now I'm an editor, that's how it goes. Uh, but, I think that visibility has a, has a lot of issues in this world, but visibility, I think, is a big problem. In that, I don't know if every student, if you ask them, do we have a newspaper, if they would say, yes, we do. Just like for those of you who are involved in the theater, uh, not everybody knows that we have a theater, that tickets are free to students. There's a lot of information that doesn't get out there. So why do I bring this up? Because we're the media. We are the ones who have a lot of the power to spread our message. And, we're, and the message comes from the voice of students, because we're all students. Um, so whatever you want to write about, we, we live in a world right now where it, everything's fake news. It's all, like, that's what, either you believe in fake news and you, you think that everything's a lie, or you don't believe in it and you're just arguing, no, this is real, this is real, and you don't know what to trust. Well, if you're part of it, it's your chance to contribute and to speak your truth. Um, so whether you're interested in straight news, and there's a lot of that on campus, um, Sean Spicer coming to campus, uh, we also have a lot of facilities that are, what, you didn't know? I don't know. Um, reasons. Read the next history of the newspaper. You won't find out. But we'll, we know some of the reasons. There's speculation uh, in that. But you know. Uh, okay, I figured it out. <laughs> so we have that. We have a lot of our facilities. I mean, how many times have we walked around and you see trash cans where the water is dripping down through them? Um, these are all things that we can cover. If we see problems in our institution, we can call that out. And also we have, if we do see strengths in our institution, if we see, I know we like to focus in the news right now, especially on the negative, but there's a lot of opportunities to call out positive things as well. Um, if you have an opinion, like, I don't care about writing about the news, but I have an opinion about the news. Uh, you, sir, you seem to have an opinion about Sean Spicer. Well, guess what? There is a vehicle for you to write your opinion out and share it with the school. And with our online and also the potential for other students to write back in, you can have a discourse and a conversation about that, which is a gift that not everybody in the world gets to have. You know, it's it's not everywhere where you get voice your displeasure or your opinion, whether positive or negative, and not get in trouble for it. It's one of the luxuries we have uh, and one of the rights that we have. Also, let's say none of that's your dad. You don't like any of that. You like what happens in school sometimes? You can write a campus life. So anything, this, I'm assuming this is going to be a campus life. If you're like, this was so great, I wish I could revisit it. You can. You can write about it and put it in the campus life section. Uh, let's say you're like, oh, I don't care about that. I'm just too busy watching my Netflix. I'm too busy watching movies, playing video games. You can write about that too. Are you sensing a the theme here? <laughs> if you want to write about something, this is your opportunity to do it. It's your voice. It can't be taken away. Put it in the paper, it's there forever. Even if it's like 80 years in the future, it's still going to be there. And somebody, like, man, I wonder what they were thinking about Batman in 2019. People can come back and look, and then you could be that person. Um, so I'm in charge of that section. If you want to write about something, even something I don't know about, um, 
pitch it. Just tell me, like, hey, I want to write a review for this, and I'm going to be like, cool, go ahead and do that. Because that's, it's important. You know, I think a lot of people get into this mindset of like, oh, well, it's one of two things. Either their opinion matters way too much and they share it with everybody, or they think it doesn't matter at all. And we're that healthy balance of in between, because we're going to edit because we're editors. But, <laughs> but we are here to help you use your voice and get it out there. For example, um, we've had a, a lot of prospective writers who come in, you know, and they might not all last at the end of the semester, you know, so that things happen, school gets busy, you need to get something in, uh, and you can't, but right now we have three writers, and they're all talking about sports. All they want to talk about it. Not all, but, you know, it's a lot of what they want to talk about. Oh, can I write something about the Cubs? Can I write something about the Sox? Can I write something about the Bears? And we used to have uh, a sports section. We're quasi bringing it back. Uh, so it's not like a permanent position until we have, you know, continued use and continued writing and continued passion for it. But if the student body speaks and they want something, we're going to give it to them. As, you know, in, in, in reason. Okay. All, all, everything? Okay, this just, this just in. We'll, we'll give you everything. But, so right now we have Robin, who, in addition to her responsibilities being editor-in-chief, she is like the interim sports editor. And they're all coming to her, and Robin's just, she started wearing baseball caps. She's, yeah. She was wearing a jersey yesterday. When Robin commits to a role, she commits. It's, it's, yeah. I'm telling you. I didn't even recognize her. I didn't even recognize her. So, but, that's something that a part of the student body wanted. They wanted us to talk about sports, and so we can do that. So if you feel like there's something not being represented, if you're like, oh, none of these things speak to me, but this does, the work, like, just pitch it to us. Let us know, and we can try to do it that way. Um, the cool thing about the independent, it's like, all, we're all students. We all know we have classes, we have a bunch of stuff going on. But we're all working together. And yes, sometimes there may be spelling errors. Sometimes some of the pictures may be grainy. Sometimes the grass is yellow. Yeah. The grass is yellow. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. But like at the end of the day, we came together, and we made something. And that doesn't happen every day. You don't get that opportunity all the time. Um, so uh, if you are in the newspaper, I hope you consider If you've been with us in the past, maybe come back and try it again. Uh, and if you are, I hope you stay with it and enjoy it. And then you know that we are here to help you and support you. And while we represent your voice, we are not your voice. You need to tell us what you want to say, and we will do our best to say that.
of it, but you you have every right to, and it's better for all of us that you have faculty as an advisor. That's actually a requirement of being on the media board. Every organization has a faculty or staff mentor advisor. Oh yeah, TV. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. A correction for the last day issue. It's a uh, Edie Rubin. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. She's pretty cool. We also have one. Her name is Elizabeth Villarreal. She's on the Brenta Palante. Yeah. I think Trudy's uh, in the in the uh, search still. Trudy and Corinne. Um, what? Say that again. She's like getting them to hire her as faculty. Oh, really? I don't know why she's not hired yet. She's I keep. I think I've mentioned. Ooh. I don't think there's so much interest. So what's your right about Robin? Can can the mind be like why are you robbing my heart? <laughs> it seems like you have a passion for the story. Right. I'm not saying. Because um, this is a tradition uh, to introduce. 
myself, I'm three months into this and I'm very... And we then, as a media board, plan this next occasion for next semester. Hey, what about late night breakfast? Y'all know how they have a late night breakfast? No, they have, they have late night breakfast like at 10 p.m. Like, so like during finals, we go to the meeting. Well, I don't think that's the time. Yeah, you're right, you're right. You're right. I, I'm, I want to say one more thing before you pull up. So Please you know, keep going. This is, I mean, really. What you wanted to say? I couldn't move. Go, go, go. Who here speaks Spanish? Who here speaks Spanish? Yo. Okay. Nothing that they can hold. 